Did you know that the Chobe River holds a spectacular secret? In studio with us today is Greg Stewart-Hill and he is going to share the discovery him and his team made in the northeastern reaches of our country. I believe the discovery your team made was, let's call it the mass animal migration. It's probably not so much a mass migration, there's about 2,500 2, animals involved, but it's certainly the longest migration that has been picked up in recent times, probably the longest that exists at the moment. Let's start at the beginning. How did you make this discovery? Well, many years ago when I was very young and uh, as a student, we used to visit Botswana and go to a place called Naipan. And that was in about the early 80s, and we used to see zebra just arriving at this place. Uh, that was normally about January when the rain started. When I started working in Namibia, on the other side, up on the Chobe, we used to see a zebra just disappear. Mm -hmm. um, and that was around about December. And people used to wonder where these zebra used to disappear to. So a couple of collars were put on a certain number of zebra. What was discovered was this long migration of zebra that used to leave the Chobe and go down to Naipan. It's about 250 kilometers. That's quite a trip. It's a long way, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you say that it, they moved down in December. So it appears that when the rain start, there's a queue and suddenly the zebra just leave the Chobe floodplains and down they go to Naipan. Then they spend a couple of months there and then they start heading back again and they take about two months. Probably since about 2004-05, they've started to cross the Chobe River into Namibia. And these are the Namibian floodplains, the Zambezi floodplains. In the first few years, they would come and spend about a month or so on the Namibian side. The next year there was two months, the year after that it was three months and now they're spending almost uh, between five and six months on the Namibian side on these very rich fertile floodplains of the Zambezi. So we've also done and started to talk some of the, to some of the old residents who lived in those flood, or live in those floodplains and they recall oral history that these zebra used to come and do that in the distant past. And so this, we think, has re-established a migration that had been stopped. I'm sure it's a spectacular view. What would you say, how can our viewers experience this for themselves? When we think of migrations and zebra, we think of zebra crossing the Mara River. We have a similar thing where you see the zebra actually crossing the Chobe River. They cross backwards and forwards. They don't just do it one time and then stay there. So there's always a chance you'll see a crossing. I think what's also interesting is that you can see zebra mingling with cattle and the people herding. I think very much a glimpse into Africa's past. Next week, the Kondwana team will be traveling to Chobe River to see this and experience it for ourselves firsthand. And if you want to experience this, make sure that you visit the Kondwana Chobe River camp Trust me when I say you don't want to miss it.